All right, guys, this is take two of my uh, top large fixed blades. And um, guys, uh, thanks for sticking with me. Um, we're up over about 330, I believe, 330 subscribers. Guys, thank you so much for that. This is just a passion project of mine. Uh, I just want to share um, a little bit about uh, what I like. And so today I had the intention of doing a top five uh, large fixed blade video. And when I say top five, I'm telling you it was impossible. I, I started going through my, my fixed blades and I realized that I just can't do it. They, I have too many that I love. And so uh, I'm going to up this to my top 10. Now, um, what I am classifying as a large fixed blade is a fixed blade that is over um, six inches in length on the blade. And so that really helped me narrow down in my collection. I have a lot that are um, smaller than that that I absolutely love. But um, these are all over six inches on a blade. There is one here that is exactly six inches, so it just barely meets that uh, criteria. But guys, this is Caleb's EDC Corner. Um, thank you again for liking, subscribing, commenting. Comment down below uh, what you like as far as your top uh, large fixed blades, and I'd love to hear about that. All right, guys, let's get right into it. I don't want this to be super long. My first one, and again, these are in no uh, particular order. Uh, my first one's not necessarily my absolute favorite, but I do love it. This is my Rio Grande Bowie by Bark River. Bark River does large knives extremely well. They do smaller knives extremely well too, but I especially like their bowies. As you can see, this uh, Mike, Mike designed this uh, from an old pattern. Uh, I believe it was a blackjack pattern, and then uh, before that it was a, a very historical pattern called a Rio Grande Bowie. And uh, elk slab handles, uh, the elk stag is just so beautiful. Uh, it's like popcorn stag, it's just gorgeous. Um, this is a this is a great knife, and guys, uh, what I'm using these for, uh, you know, just basic chopping, um, just having fun with. Uh, I don't use these a whole lot, uh, but when I'm out at the farm and doing some things, I really like taking these out uh, and and messing with them. So, my first one here is the Bark River Rio Grande Bowie, uh, just incredible. My second one that I want to show you is one that's actually been in my collection for a long time, and. Um, uh, I got this from Prepared Mind 101, uh, Chris Tanner. I love his stuff. Uh, he, he's kind of one of the guys that got me into uh, this genre. And so um, this is a really special knife for me. I got this directly from him. And when I got it, of course, it had the hockey uh, tape on the handle. I had to take that off. Um, it was getting some moisture underneath. Um, but this is the Bark River, Brock, if I could speak, Bark River Bravo. And uh, this is the Crusader, green canvas micarta. As you can see, I put a lanyard on here. Um, this is an incredible large knife. It's 3V steel. Uh, the Rio Grande was A2, I forgot to mention that. This is 3V steel, Bravo, uh, uh, not Survivor, the Bravo Crusader. And uh, this is just an incredible large knife. Nice choil there for choking up on it. Um, I've used this knife a lot. And it's special because it came from Chris Tanner over at Prepared Mind 101. Um, so this is a great knife. All right, my next one this morning is one that you've probably seen if you um, are in Bark River Boys or DLT Insiders. You've probably seen this pictured quite a bit. I like taking pictures of knives. And this is my V44 Bowie. Um, V44 is just a wonderful Bowie knife, um, Bark River produced. Um, this is an American Walnut. So I got this from DLT Trading and I remember when I got it, uh, I saw the American Walnut and I just thought to myself, yeah, it, it doesn't get much more American than that. And so uh, V44 Bowie, it's got the really cool guard on there, brass guard uh, that's starting to patina quite a bit. I've had this for a number of years now. And uh, man, I love this knife. When I picked this up, it's just a chunk. They came out with a, uh, a skinny version of this, but this is a chunky one and I, I like it better. So V44 Bowie in my top, this is in my top uh, 10. All right, moving on. Let's throw something else in the mix. You guys have seen this one. My Cross Knives, Jack of Hearts Bowie. Um, 
I'll tell you one thing, guys. When you pick this knife up, it comes alive in your hand. Uh, Pete, when he made this, did a wonderful job. You can see it's got curly maple handles there. Um, and then you can see, look at the tapered tang on that. So, um, because of that tapered tang and the thinness of the blade, guys, I can't explain it. You just have to pick it up. Um, this knife comes alive in your hands. This is one of my top 10 um, favorite large knives. All right, moving on. We have an iconic knife from Bark River, and this one is the 1909 Michigan Bowie. Again, another Bark River on the, on the list here. Um, this has got um, stag as the, as the handle material here, and it is just incredible. When I pick this knife up in my hand, um, it just comes alive, kind of like that, kind of like that uh, cross knife. Um, again, another very historic pattern. Um, I believe this is a, mar a marbles pattern, um, and so this is a just a wonderful knife. I got this one from DLT Trading as well. This is just an incredible, uh, incredible knife. When these dropped, I knew I had to have one. You can see the back there, how everything's held together there with that uh, that nut on the back and this is an a2 steel one of my favorites top 10. all right moving on another bark river um hope you guys don't get tired of seeing bark river <laughs> but this one is one of my favorite knives this is a bark river hudson bay camp 2 and uh, this is modeled after the hudson bay knife uh, that is so famous um, this has got black canvas micarta. I got this from Knife Ship Free. Um, man, I, I've had this for years. It's got patina all over it. Um, I love this knife. It pairs really well with my uh, flint locks. It pairs really well with my uh, side lock cap and ball. Um, and so these are just uh, so historical. Um, and it's just a great knife. I just love the pattern. So it's a first production run. Uh, this is a Hudson Bay camp knife. Really love this knife. All right, moving on. Let's throw a different one in the mix here. Um, Cold Steel makes some amazing, amazing large knives. They kind of specialize in that. And one of my favorite Cold Steel knives is the Trailmaster. This one goes way back, guys. I mean, I'm talking before I even knew about Bark River, before um, before I even knew about all these other brands. I started with Cold Steel, and I've got a ton of their folders. Um, uh, Lynn Thompson's videos are just out of this world uh, weird, but uh, I love them. <laughs> they got me into uh, higher-end knives, and so um, I always have a special place in my heart for a Cold Steel knife, and uh, this Trailmaster is one of the best knives in my opinion um one of the best larger knives in my opinion on the market this is in vg1 san mai 3 uh, and these are made in japan uh, it's got a wonderful craton handle there um, and so it's just a great knife for all around woods knife um, nice thick stock just wonderful so that's the cold steel trail master Next up, I'm down to my last two, and then I've got a wild card, so there's going to be 11. I've got an honorable mention, um, and so my last two are in the same family. This is my Bark River Teddy 2, and as you guys know, I love the Bark River Teddies uh, and the Teddy 2. Um, this is the one. I didn't show this one in my first Bark River video. This is the Teddy 2 Hunter model, and so it's a Hunter model because it does not have that top quillion, um, and so you can choke up on that. Um, it's got wonderful stacked leather that is aged really well over time. Um, this is a great knife, guys. I love the fullers. I love the name. Um, this is this is a wonderful knife. All right, and then my last knife in my top ten. You probably would have guessed it. This is this one just barely makes the cut. Uh, the blade is exactly six inches, um, and so this is my Bark River Teddy. Now this is a little smaller than the Teddy 2, but this one's special because this has the African Gemsbach uh, handle. And I'm going to try to get you a close-up of that. African Gemsbach. 
wonderful handle material. It just molds to the hand. As you guys know, I love all things Africa, and so, um, I mean, this is a lifetime knife for me. I'll never get rid of this one. Um, and so this is, this is an incredible knife. And then it's got ironwood spacers there. Just really, a, really a cool knife. So barely made the cut. Um, another one that I wanted to make the cut, but it just didn't, you know, wasn't large enough was my uh, vehement knives, Kudo Misa. Um, and so it just wasn't big enough. So that'll, that'll be in another video. One of my favorite knives too. So what's the wild card? All right. So I have one more. And this is one that didn't make my top 10, but I sure do love it. I got this from my buddy Jay over at Knife Ship Free, um, and this is a really cool knife. And this is the Topps Knife Prather War Bowie. And um, you guys know I like Bowies. I like Topps Knives. I actually haven't had a whole lot of them, but really cool. It's got some uh, orangish red. I think it's more orange. Um, liners with uh, canvas micarta grips that have been sculpted and then uh, you see the thickness there uh, on the blade but just check out the profile of this knife um, this is a uh, really cool knife so it's large it's in charge it is a wonderful knife so this is my wild card this is an honorable mention so um wow i actually forgot one Guys, look, I don't edit, so this I'm just going to throw this in there, all right? I forgot one. I've only given you nine of my top ten. What is the one I forgot? And I'm sorry I forgot this. Look at this. This is the Heritage Knives um, M43 Kukri. I got this from DLT Trading. Uh, they, I believe they have exclusive rights to, uh, to Heritage Knives. Guys, I'm telling you, this Kukri, and a Kukri had to make the list. Um, I remember when I first got into uh, knives, Kukris were all the rage. Um, and over the years, I have had a number of them uh, from uh, makers like uh, Himalayan Imports, and they're cool, they're historical, but they never, um, to me, I didn't feel like they stacked up in quality to what this is. This is still uh, made in Nepal. And take it out of the sheath here. The sheath, by the way, is very nice. It's wood covered with leather. It's just a great sheath. But the knife itself is amazing. What's cool is it's full tang. Okay, so you've got confidence when you're when you're wielding this. This thing chops like no other. Heritage did a great job with these guys. And go over to DLT Training and check these out. I know that they've got some in stock. Um, full Tang, uh, it's got the wood grips here. Um, it's very traditional, uh, with, which at the same time is very stout, very sturdy. Um, the fit and finish on this is just really nice compared to a lot of the traditional Kukri's that I got. Guys, it's my top 10 plus a wild card. Thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. We're 13 minutes into this video and uh, I try to keep it under 15 minutes. So guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out at Caleb's EDC Corner. Hope y'all have a blessed day.